Our immune system has been eloquently designed in order to determine between proteins we make ourselves and those that are foreign. Now, proteins we make ourselves can be found in our hair or in our muscles, and these are known as self-proteins, and our immune system knows not to attack them. But proteins that are found in bacteria or viruses, such as SARS-CoV-2, are foreign or non-self proteins, and our immune system knows to attack them to prevent us from getting sick. And the way that our immune system learns about the difference between self and non-self is through a process called immune tolerance. And that's when our immune system, composed of B cells and T cells, go through a process of learning. You can think of this like a classroom. These cells learn what each protein within our bodies looks like and knows not to attack them in the future. But they also learn that if they come into contact with a protein that they have not learned about, to attack them, elicit an immune response, and then remember what those proteins look like in the future in case of another infection. In the context of autoimmune diseases, our B cells and T cells begin to get a little confused. They forget what they learned in the classroom and they begin attacking certain human proteins. And this can lead to a large amount of inflammation. Now, the extensive research done on autoimmune diseases have found that there's a combination of both environmental and genetic factors at play that can lead to these autoimmune disorders. However, individuals that have received a vaccine have a 99.99% chance of not eliciting any autoimmune disorder, but they have been shown to prevent illness and save millions of lives. Now, in the context of the mRNA vaccine for SARS-CoV-2, there has been no link connecting this vaccine to any form of an autoimmune disorder.